here at the beach like me or if it's in the dead of winter. You gotta keep your skin soft and smooth, right? I got an idea for you and it's super easy. Your skin will take a beating, whether you're at the beach like this or even in the middle of winter when it's really cold. So you got to take care of your skin. I have a super simple DIY recipe that I like to put together and it is so fast, so easy, but the benefits are unbelievable. Check it out guys. This is everything you're going to need to get this recipe done. I have a wooden spoon just because I love to use a wooden spoon for any kind of recipe. You can of course use any kind of spoon you want. That's what I have on hand and that's what I like to use. I also have a large mixing bowl and in addition to that, I have three, just three ingredients to get this done. I have organic virgin coconut oil. This is the Dr. Bronner's brand. You can use any brand that you want. I prefer the extra virgin because it smells so good. Check that out. You see it's in a solid state there. Well, it won't stay that way for this recipe. You can't mix that up very well, right? We're gonna heat it up and it's gonna become liquefied once it gets warm. And I like to use the extra virgin kind, like I said, because it smells like coconut. So absolutely delicious smelling. I love it just as wonderful smelling as the lavender oil that I've chosen to use for this recipe. This is an essential oil. I bought this at Whole Foods, very inexpensive. You can order it online. You can purchase it just about any health food store. No brand specified here, use whatever kind you want. Also, I have some Dead Sea Minerals here. Now, typically I like to remove the price tag. I think leaving a price tag on something is a little tacky. My mama taught me, but I wanna show you this. I got this at Marshall's for just $6.99. Less than $7 for this bag, a 32 ounce bag of Dead Sea Salt Minerals. And I thought it was such a good deal. And I didn't go to Marshall's on the hunt for this. I just happened to be in line purchasing some other things and saw this there and thought, oh my gosh, I'm gonna use this for my salt scrub. So it's very inexpensive. You know, it's just salt. So, but it's a sp specific kind of salt, obviously dead sea salt, but it's great for sloughing off all that dead skin. And also a container to put it all in. This just happened to be a container that I am reusing. I had some body butter in here and I thought, you know what, I'm not gonna toss that container. I'm gonna use it for my recipe here. So, you gotta have something on hand to put it in. This is a plastic container that won't break and the shower and this is everything you need to get this recipe done. Not a whole lot, huh? Now on to the mixing. This is the easy part. First, we're gonna put the salt in the bowl. Then I have my coconut oil that I've microwaved in 30 second increments until it was completely liquefied. And then we're gonna put in the drops of the lavender oil. Now for complete measurements, I want you to go down to that description box below and I'll tell you exactly how much of each ingredient I put in here. Now that everything is in, I'm gonna give it a good stir. Make sure all that salt is well combined with the coconut oil and the lavender oil. And it just takes a few stirs, no more than 20 to 30 seconds to make sure everything is well combined. Very simple. And then once you're done, here's what you're gonna have. Check it out. This is your salt scrub. It's just that simple. You can see how nice and coarse that is. That's what makes your skin soft and smooth, but you can't get into the shower without having it in a decent container, right? Like I said before, this is a plastic, plastic container. It's a screw top container. And if you're gonna give it as a gift, well, you might wanna dress it up a little bit. So just for fun, I have some ribbon here. I've doubled it up. This one is pretty thin. It's actually about a quarter of an inch. So that's why I have two pieces there. And I'm just gonna wrap it around the outside of this container. Again, this is not necessary at all, especially if you're just using it at home but only if you're giving it as a gift. You can dress it up and make it look fancy schmancy like what I have here. You gotta tie that ribbon on, 
can be a little tricky since it is a round container, but it took me less than 30 seconds to do. Tie that right on there, and then you're gonna wrap that ribbon all the way around several times until it is completely covered. Just something to make things look nice. Check it out, doesn't that look pretty? That's a gift you'll feel good about giving, right? Well, once you get it all fancy schmancied up, you're gonna fill it up with that salt scrub that you just put together. And keep in mind, this recipe is so easy that it doubles. So if you do wanna give it as a gift, you can double it and keep some for yourself on hand. This is one of those things that is so easy to put together. It's like, well, why not have some for myself and also share the love with some friends or family. And when they get this gift, look how beautiful that is. It's gonna feel good in their heart and your heart too, but it feels even better on your skin. I do want you to remember one thing for this recipe. The salt that I used was in larger chunks. It was a very coarse salt. I don't put that on my face because it is like little rocks and it can scratch my face up. If you do wanna do a salt scrub for your face, I highly recommend doing something with smaller granules or even more gentle would be to switch out salt for a granulated sugar. That'll make a big difference and it'll make your face feel really smooth. It'll exfoliate, it'll moisturize. I want you to try it out. Just make sure you don't get it around your eyes because whether it's sugar or salt, it would be very uncomfortable in there. So be extra careful when you're doing that. But I do want you to try this DIY recipe. It's so easy. It costs a fraction of what you'll pay in any store and you are gonna, say with me, love it. You are gonna love it, so try it out. Thanks for checking in with me today. I'll see you.